like to perform my favorite effect, the illusion of the torn and restored newspaper. Now, if you've never seen this particular effect, what I do is tear a newspaper completely to shreds, and then with the sheer magic of mental concentration, cause the pieces to recombine into the very same newspaper. So you know it when you see it again. I'm going to page through the paper very slowly. I ask that you remember some picture or ad from somewhere within. This is USA Today. Now, the reason that I say this is an illusion is because I never really tear the newspaper. Now, sometimes people think that I'm tearing the newspaper because they think they hear paper tearing. Other people are deluded by the fact that they think they see separate pieces. But you folks, sitting up close like you are, can see this is not actually the case. When I have done this, I weld the pieces all together in a little sort of a fuse welding process I've invented, and then the paper is completely restored. <laughs> You don't seem to believe me, you take a look. Remember the pictures? <laughs> I met some of the greatest magicians, some of our legends, some of those guys who set the standard for magic, some of them that we will be following for years. And I had the opportunity to interview each one of them. And I'd like to share those masters that I've interviewed on this video. Anyone, I would say get books. Don't go out to the internet and watch somebody doing it, whatever they're doing, because then you're doing imitation. In a book, you have to imagine yourself doing it, and you're way ahead, because then you put yourself into it. So my advice is, well, first you try doing it like they did it, because you don't know where the genius lies. But then, you start to see when you can bring yourself into it, and that's when you start growing, and that's the growth. That's where the creativity comes. So in the things I've done, I started with the basis, I have a good background in magic, but every trick I do, it came from somebody else. I have taken it to higher ground, because that's where the growth is. There's nothing I left where it was. It's better now than when I took it on. That's what you want to do. And it's from books. It's not from YouTube. And how did you come up with a newspaper tale? The newspaper I got out of a book. The newspaper tear came from, and that's in my book that I wrote up on there, uh, but it, 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 and it was a method, it's in there, but it really didn't work. But it had some brilliance that I wanted, which was a flash restoration. The trouble is, it didn't work. You could see where it went, so you had to solve it. So I had two problems. One was you could see where it went. Oh, problem one. A separate problem. You could only show one side. It was on the other side. You couldn't hide it. All right, that's the second problem. A separate solution. So we had to figure out how to do it so that it was a flash restoration. Nobody else was doing that. A flash restoration and that I could show a full newspaper. That's how it did. But I built on somebody's shoulders, and that was Al Coran. And I credit him. That's where I got the idea. It was not my original idea. It was the first one to tear a newspaper. But it's the most performed effective newspaper in the world. Thank you.